Hey guys, how's it going? You know, everybody's using all types of apps these days and things like that. And it's like, how can we live without them? So, I want to show you guys, if you're thinking about, if you're a developer and you're thinking about creating your own icon app, I'm going to give you some cool steps in creating your own icon. So, this right here is an example of an icon I just created in Photoshop. Pretty simple and easy, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So, for this one, I created a 500 by 500 document in Photoshop. Um, you know, this is, you know, so you can scale it after, you know, you put all the details in it, then you can actually scale it down into the proper app size. Alright, so, for this I always go black, um, for the canvas size, I mean canvas color, and then what I'm going to do is select my rounded rectangle and leave the radius at 50. You could do 100, but 50 is fine. And just hold shift and drag out a nice size app shape and right now it's set to black so we're going to change that color to blue now it could be any color you want but for me I'm just going to put it blue like this nice blue right here alrighty oh I didn't apply it to the shape I'm sorry uh, there we go there's our blue shape okay so next what we're going to do is control and click on the thumbnail of it so it's going to bring in a selection around it we're going to create a new layer and then right here is where we're going to draw in a a, um, a type of light source so we're going to make sure we select our foreground to background color or foreground to transparent and we're going to select from the very top going down to just about halfway through the app so you kind of get this nice effect like that and then we're going to switch it the colors and we're going to do a darker shade of blue and then we're going to come up so starting from the bottom and come up about halfway like that and there we go we got this nice effect and what that does is already you know in one layer so as you can see before and after alright so we're going to hit control D to deselect we're going to select our elliptical marquee tool and we're going to make sure our layer 1 is selected and we're going to draw an ellipse around the app just like that now this varies depending on what type of gloss you would like to apply so you could do a curve gloss if you want um, with the pen tool or you could do just like this a simple one with the ellipse tool and what we're going to do is hit that quick mask button what that does it just cuts off most of it so I guess some of our, our background at the bottom got kind of cut off um, usually it's in two different background two different layers but for this one I'm going to reapply that background uh, the under gloss or that under shadow bring that back a little bit there we go and then make sure I kind of take that out just control click and select that quick mask there we go alright so we did the basics now next what we're gonna do is create a new layer and we're gonna add more of a light source into it so select our paint bucket tool make sure it's set to black and fill it in oops before you fill it in make sure we do a selection of that shape and then fill it in okay so next what we're gonna do is go to filter render lens flare and because it is black I can see where this flare is gonna come from so at this point you're gonna wanna determine where your gloss is gonna um kinda come from like that so I'm gonna do from the sides like that and then I'm gonna go hit my blending option and I'm gonna select screen just like that pretty cool control D deselect and um from here this is when you want to maybe decrease some of the gloss from the top if you want you can do that but you know it depends on if whatever you choose and next what we're gonna do is make another selection from that shape and we're gonna make a new layer and we're gonna go to select modify contract and make sure you chose um, 10 pixels but it depends on what size document you're using for so 10 is good for me alright so I'm gonna make sure my foreground is white and I'm gonna go to edit stroke and I'm gonna leave it at 5 pixels and make sure it's set to inside 
um, blend mode normal opacity is 100 and press OK so we get this nice white line basically just gonna kinda highlight anything that's inside of the app and what we're gonna do special with this one is we're gonna do a layer mask and because the light is coming from the right to left we're gonna go select our gradient make sure it's foreground and black round and the color of the foreground is black and we're gonna start at the corner and come down at an angle so as you can see some of it disappears just like that we're gonna try to do that a little more like that and again from the bottom up like that might want to try it one more time there we go pretty cool and uh, from there we're gonna go ahead and give it a cool icon or something to be inside so to keep it real simple I'm gonna choose choose a nice musical icon and draw that out and it's gonna be black I chose it to be black so I want it black mm, oh my god let's do it this way okay black there we go now as you can see because of it being on top I mean underneath you want to bring it just above the shape layer but underneath everything else so you kinda get that effect like it's underneath everything which it is and I'm just gonna oops Make sure we select it. You alright? Um, damn. Um, <laughs> we're gonna uh, select our music shape and center it in the middle. And there we go. And press enter. And there we go. We have our app icon. Now, to go a little step further, if you want to add a cool pattern in the background, um, right now I don't have all my patterns loaded right now, but I'm gonna give you a nice example Just like in the other um, example I showed you at the beginning of the video um, We're gonna select our pattern overlay and As you can see we start off with the basic patterns. I have this nice pattern I would like to show you guys something like this like this nice pinstripe You want to make sure it's set to I believe overlay is it? Overlay and then drop the opacity down very low To let's say I think 20 is good. It's showing but not too apparent well I don't know it looks it looks fine and press OK and there you go you have a musical app icon within Photoshop and that's how you create your app icon and from there if you want to save it you know just make sure you turn off that black background and then save it as a PNG or you know whatever your format you desire so it's me Michael hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial remember you guys be creative peace